guys, it's Stella, and I'm gonna be telling you about the time I got drunk at Disney. Here goes nothing. So this story began long ago on August 8th, 2016. It was my 21st birthday, and I even filmed a vlog for you, but I never posted it because my hair was orange. Literally orange. Take the color, saturation like picker, pick the color on Donald Trump's face, take it out, attach it back to my hair, orange. It's because I thought I could bleach my hair and it was just a horrible experience, but that's another story. My sister and I decided to go to Disney, but then we realized that Disney, the actual park, does not have a permit for alcohol. And so I was like, all right, whatever. Like, I love Disney. Ugh, I've been waiting my entire life to go to Disneyland. If I could marry a princess, like put the rock on her hand, it would be Aurora. And so I was so pumped. I was like, I don't even care about alcohol. So we hop on this tram at the parking lot and it goes to the actual park. And there was one tram for the park and there was one tram for downtown Disney. And so the one for downtown Disney left and the one for the park came. My sister and I, all right, yeah, let's just go. I have got to see the Sleeping Beauty castle. Like number one goal in life, want to get married there one day. It's $20,000. So daddy, if you're watching, <laughs> I'll me. So my sister and I hop on this tram and we're sitting in the back row. And if you've ever been on a tram, you know there's like a little conductor guy behind him. Um, so we start talking to this guy, his name is Mr. Stark. We're speaking with him, we're just talking about like the day. And he's like, happy birthday! And I was like, yeah, it's my 21st, but there's no alcohol in Disney. <sighs> Daddy told me there were drinks at downtown Disney. All right, at this point, I am so hyped on adrenaline to go see Aurora's castle. I'm like, all right, I'm hyped now. Like, if there's drinks, we might as well go get them. This tram stops directly in front of downtown Disney. I was like, that is God, let's go turn up. So I get off the tram, I just start pop lock and dropping it because I was so excited. I was like, drinks, 21, Aurora's Castle, Disneyland, best day of my entire life. You could not get better than this. So first thing I do, I see this balloon cart, I see character. That's what they call the, the people that work there. They don't call them like employees because that's too like mainstream. They have to call them characters. So I go up to the character, the sober, I was like, Hi ma'am, it's my 21st birthday. Where can I buy some alcohol? I swear, like I felt the Tinkerbell wings come out of me and I was like, my name's Iridessa and I live in that fairyland. Where can I buy alcohol? So she told me like a couple, like a Mexican place, like a just straight up bar in the middle of downtown Disney. But before that, my first order of business was to get that big button that's like your birthday. And this girl, like she was wearing my button. I was like so special. I had my little hat on. I sprouted my imaginary fairy wings. I was killing it. I was still pop locking because it was such a good day. She goes, ma'am, I won't ask you how old you are because sometimes I get in trouble. And then I went, I'm 21. And the character goes, I'll draw a diamond. Did I not just tell you my age? Girl, you can write 21. Whatever, still elated, drinks. Cinderella Castle, Aurora, let's go. Pop lock it, let's go. And now it was time to go get alcohol. I was like, I only drink tequila and they have a Mexican spot, let's go. My sister and I go into the restaurant, we sit at the bar, and she's like, two shots of Patron. Um, you know me, 21, first time at a bar, I was like, sir, can I get a lime? And without hesitation, he handed us two shots of Patron. I took my first shots of alcohol, 21, in a bar, at Disney. And then my sister and I were like, Let's go take one more shot. So we go to the bar, it's in the middle of downtown Disney. It's open, it's like, you have to get a gate to come in, but other than that, it's pretty open. So we sit there too, and she's like, give us two drinks, fruity, mix them up. I was feeling okay, wasn't feeling too much yet. I was a little hot like I am now. So after that, I went to Sephora because my dirty butt forgot deodorant. I walk into Sephora, I'm tipsy. I say, I'm cordial, so I'm like, ma'am, do you have deodorant? She points me to the deodorant, it was like 50 bucks. So my sister and I go into the like little section, the, that windy, if you've been to Sephora, and they got all those like miniature samples, but they're not really samples, they're like $40 for the same stuff, just this big. And so we found some deodorant in there, it was like eight bucks, all natural vanilla stuff, smelled great. Um, picked it up, get in line, and I was at the register, and guys, it felt like my brain was just taken over in some kind of invasion. And I go, ma'am, Huh? It was so bad, but I was turned on. I go, ma'am, I'm sorry, I'm drunk. I just need this deodorant. 
And as she's ringing me up, getting my phone number, checking my beauty club points, I say, ma'am, how many points do I have? She's like, you have this, ma'am. Like, I need this, 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 and this. I had like 400 points. I like picked four of the 100 things. I said, I need that many points. She's like, okay. And then I was like, it's my birthday. It's my 21st birthday. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drunk. I need the birthday gift too. She's like, okay. And at this point, I'm just done. I'm drunk. I'm literally just so wasted off two shots of Patron. My sister looks at me, she's like, are you gonna carry this throughout the whole park? And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna carry the rep. Look, this is my face. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna carry this through the whole park. Ma'am, never mind, I'll, I'll get it another day. I remember saying this, I was like, I need to walk away. Callie, can you ring this up for me? And she said, no problem. My sister took care of the deodorant for me and I need to go fix my eyelash because at this point it was halfway hanging off. So I go in front of like their little mirror and their like little setup with the tissues and like all the stuff that people have already used and put it back where it shouldn't go. No, I take her lash glue, I put on my little lash, like don't even take the lash off, I just go, and I go, to dry it, right? Just in the middle of Sephora. This lady comes up to me, she's like, are you okay, ma'am? And I say, it's my 21st birthday, thank you. Like she said happy birthday to me or something. She was just asking me if I was okay. But I continued to do my eyelash, my sister came, and I put on that deodorant with pride in the middle of the store because I was stinking already. That was not even in Disney yet. And we get security and the guy was laughing I don't know if he was laughing with me or at me. I would like to assume he was laughing with me, but... <laughs> That's how I got through high school. <laughs> so we get through one more gate. You have to go through one more gate to get into the actual park. And we made it. And so we're inside the park. We're like, oh my gosh, we made it. So this guy, Kevin, comes up. And he, the only way I remember his name, by the way, is because of this story. I was like, hey, can you take a selfie of us? I, I mean, a picture? He's like, yeah, clearly seeing we're drunk. Yeah, I'll take a selfie of us. Takes my phone and goes, and I'm like, oh, ha ha ha. You can see this ugly picture here. So after that, we took the quick tour of the Sleeping Beauty Castle. I don't wanna like lose my drunk. I was like, I'm drunk, I don't wanna lose it. What can we go do? So my sister and I were like, food, yeah, food, food. So we go to this place, we had fries. I, all I remember are fries, but I think there was a burger somewhere in there too. But all I remember were fries, so we ate that left, and then it was time to go meet Aurora. Aurora was coming out at three o'clock. Tell me how this isn't discrimination. She has an entire castle just for her, but they make her go to Snow White's well to get her meet and greet. Isn't that the fakest thing you've ever heard? We go there, we're in line. One, we didn't even know there was a line, because we were the first in line. Got out of line to go look at some ducks, came back, and the line was like, and we're like, dang. So we hopped in line. I met Aurora. I was very drunk. I'll insert that video here. Hello everyone. I just wanted to say happy birthday to Princess Stella. I'm so glad she got to visit you here. Okay, so after meeting Aurora, um, we went in line for It's a Small World. It was the first ride we rode. I lost my drunk on It's a Small World, so I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of the stories of my day, but I did go to Disney drunk. Would I recommend it? No. And if it's your 21st birthday, feel free to have fun. Feel free to let loose. Um, enjoy yourself. You know, I was working it. I was working it. It was a great day. Best birthday I've ever had. And I want to thank my sister for that and her boyfriend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos from me. If you want to see this journey I've been going through, make sure to watch my old videos and let's subscribe for my new videos. And I hope to see you guys soon. And as always, love Stella. Follow me on my social media and let's talk about my drunkenness at Disney. Bye guys.